Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Black Mamba. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Big kick lands. Connects now with the one-two. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice. Slips. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, good lead right by Lee. And both guys really throwing with 
authority. And a miss with the right hook. It's such a fast leg kick. Body kick is blocked. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big kick lands. That shot blocked by Lee. That is a thudding leg kick. Circling to his right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. that body kick. Freeze. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Checks the leg kick. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, I feel like dislocate my hip. Look at that roundhouse. I mean, he can get that kick off in any direction if you're not careful. If he throws that kick to the body too many times and you start guessing body, he will take it up high in your night. Second round, straight ahead. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. 
give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop going. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch by Lee. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be first now. Way to hide that leg They kick. continue to exchange. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, what a punch. Oh, what a head kick. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit, and he does a great job of that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lee gets caught with that punch. And he landed the right hand there. in some body shots. Beautiful body kick. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lou. Back and forth we go. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, man. He's a big knee. Ooh. Straight right, he misses. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Superman punch, not always easy to execute. He did so there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Went for the inside leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. How good is that right hand? Twenty seconds to go, round two. Big head kick land. Seconds here of round two. Connects with a right. And that's the end of round number two. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish.
Third round underway. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Straight punch lands. He blocks the punch. Looks like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he lands the knee to the body now. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Went for the inside leg kick. Head kick wins. Oh, nice right hand, John. Good punch. Trying to double up on that jab. Just over three minutes to go. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Big leg kick land. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick land. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Right punch is there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. That's a big strike right there. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. That's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Just misses with the jab. Real quick leg. Hands up, hands up. Oh, oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. I need you to pay Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Engages in a single collar tie here. Nice straight punch. Oh, goes to the roundhouse kick now and lands. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What a devastating technique the roundhouse kick is. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Head kick. Nice leg kick. Just misses there with the left. What a tricky head kick. That's
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Oh! Caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, huge block! Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. to go now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside. Otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Beautiful punch. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 90 seconds remain in the round. Liver kick. Just out of range with that kick attempt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punch with the clinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. One minute to go in the round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, big left hook there. All right, 
so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, nice shot. Oh, he got hurt with two. That is it! Holy smokes! What a performance! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. I mean, just landed that beautiful kick right under the ribs. You could see immediately the effect that it took on his opponent as his opponent went back to the edge of the octagon, fell down to the ground, and he finished the fight. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 35 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Roos the Dragon Lee. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's gonna get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.